Sea's harvester ants. Drop for drop are some of the most toxic insects in the world. In fact, the most toxic insect in the world is a species of harvester ant. Oh, wow. That is quite painful for an ant that size. My name is Jack, and I spent the past few years traveling all over the globe to find some of nature's most unique and dangerous animals. My goal? To show the world that even the most bizarre life forms on Earth deserve both respect and appreciation. Now, in today's video, we're on the hunt for one of North America's most venomous ants, the Florida Harvester Ant. Harvester ants in the genus Pogana Myrmex are a widespread group of ants found in the New World. And now, as the name might suggest, they get their name from their foraging habits, gathering seeds, insect parts, and anything else they can get their mandibles on to chew into a bread-like pulp to feed their colony. Additionally, these insects have some of the most potent venom in the insect world. Interested? Well, let's take a look at the Florida Harvester Ant. Okay, <laughs> perfect. Right here is the beautiful, the magnificent Florida Harvester Ant. Come take a look here, folks. Lovely, lovely, lovely little colony. And I do want to be careful. A sting from one of these ants is not pretty. These are easily one of, if not the most venomous ants here in Florida. Oh my gosh, they're so, so, so cool. And I'm really hopeful that this colony is mature enough because there's something really unique about these harvester ants in particular. Now I'm hoping that this colony is old enough because as these colonies mature, they do something really, really special that no other harvester ant in the genus Pogana Myrmex does. Something very special about the Florida harvester ant is that they break the monocast system of all other Pogana Myrmex. Now, you might be sitting at home going, Jack, pump the brakes there, pal. What the heck are you talking about? Well, Pagana Myrmex generally have a singular caste system, which means they have the queen and they have workers, and all the workers are of comparable size to one another. Whereas in Pagana Myrmex Badius, the Florida harvester ant, they break this trend, they break this rule, and they have major workers or soldiers, which is super, super cool and not something you get to see in other species of Pagana Myrmex. So I'm hoping that if I look around for long enough, maybe we'll be able to see some major workers. Sure enough, there's one right there. And you can see how much bigger the majors are compared to the workers. Oh, that is so spectacular. These are so stinking cool. Now, like I said, these Pagana Myrmex, these harvester ants, drop for drop are some of the most toxic insects in the world. In fact, the most toxic insect in the world is a species of harvester ant. This genus Pagana Myrmex possesses a potent toxic venom. So a sting from one of these ants is not only incredibly painful, but usually you can kind of feel it on a systemic level. The neurotoxin that they use to deter predators is through the roof toxic. So even a tiny sting from one of these ants is pretty unpleasant. And if you'd like to see what the sting does, I'll include a little chunk of our Florida Harvester Ant sting video that we filmed earlier this year. I took a sting from this species earlier this year. However, I could only find normal workers. We weren't able to find a colony that had soldiers, but let's take a quick look at what the venom of these ants is capable of. And let's see, how painful is the Florida harvester? Come on. Go 
going. She's got like her stinger in my forceps. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Woo. There she goes. She got a little sting in. She's pumping. She's pumping. Ouch. You can see her stinger's stuck in my arm there. Oh, I'll take a look. Oh, wow. That is quite painful for an ant that size. I'm very impressed. Thank you, cutie. Whew. So, I mean, uh, it's not uh, it's not as nearly as bad as maybe, say, uh, like a Polistes paper wasp or, or a yellow jacket or anything like that. But uh, it is very painful uh, in terms of the size of this animal. Like, I would say this is probably as painful as a small wasp or maybe the equivalent of, I don't know, 10 fire ant stings at once in the exact same place. So not pleasant. And you can imagine these being social little ants they have a colony's worth of stings at the ready uh, so to stick your hand in a nest uh, would be quite uncomfortable now like all other species of harvester ants these animals in particular are gathering seeds and bits of grass and sometimes even insect prey and they kind of mulch it all up into a soft paste or bread and that's actually what they're feeding their larvae inside of this colony. Now, as you can see, all of this little kind of petals and dirt, and little pine needles that have been gathered around, uh, that helps kind of draw heat to this nest because these animals, like all insects, don't generate their own body heat. They have to be warmed up by their surroundings. And when they're the most warm, they're burning a lot of that metabolism up. So in order to develop their larvae as quick as possible, those larvae need to be warm so that they can digest and eat a lot, a lot of food that the workers will bring them. So these Pagana Myrmex, it's pretty easy to find a good nest because they've cluttered all this stuff up around it. Uh, even, even our more arid species out west will do this, ex this exact same thing with gravel. They'll take little tiny rocks and just place them all around their nest so that they can draw in that heat and keep that heat there so that they can develop a lot quicker and build a lot larger colonies in order to gather more food and protect them against more predators. They are just so cool. I love seeing these ants. Now, ants have got to be some of the most important organisms that we have the privilege of sharing our planet with. So many ecosystems depend on ants to help maintain a healthy balance. Now, I know there's plenty of people who don't care for ants, but I hope I can show them in a different light today. These are beautiful societies of cooperation and survival. These animals work their hardest every day for the collective good of their colony. I hope in the future when you see an ant, you don't see a mindless stinging machine or a home invader, but you see a brave little being working its hardest to take care of its own. We don't have to like everything about the natural world, but it demands our respect and our appreciation. We've had a great time with our amazing, amazing, amazing Florida harvester ants. It's so much fun to see these, and this is actually my first time seeing such impressive major workers with this exact uh, uh, type of harvester ant. So I was really excited to show you guys that at home, and I hope that you found that maybe even just a fraction as cool as I found it. So my friends, I must, I must bid you adieu. I must tell you that our time is over and our time is up. So thank you all so much for tuning in today. And I hope if I left you with anything, it's that even nature's most unique, bizarre, or even dangerous animals uh, deserve not only our respect, but our appreciation for the roles that they serve in our ecosystems uh, and the things that they do to help us uh, as we survive as part of the world around us. So please be a kind earthling to your fellow uh, earth inhabitants. And I hope that you learned something today, and I hope to see you next week with the next episode of Jacksonville Wildlife. So goodbye, and I'll see you then.